So we're walking down Broadway. We're approaching 102nd Street, and this is where I spent most of my childhood. I know this whole area so well. Uh, this used to be a Lambston's. We used to go here to buy Christmas presents, very cheap ones. This is where we moved to from uh, East Harlem. So it's 102nd Street and Broadway, and all of my adventures began pretty much from this doorstep. It still haunts my dreams. My name is Luca. I live on the second floor. I live upstairs from you. Yes, I think you've seen me before. I wanted to write about child abuse. I had been listening to Lou Reed a lot, and I was impressed by the way he wrote about a violent world. And uh, I had to think of how to write about a subject that no one talks about. And I guess I saw the, the name on this magazine of a boy who lived in my building down on 23rd Street. And I thought, Luca. I think it's cause I'm clumsy. I try not to talk too loud. Maybe it's because I'm crazy. I try not to act too proud. Only hit till you cry. After that, you don't ask why. You just don't argue anymore. And I finally met the boy one day. I said, I saw this boy waiting for the elevator, and I said, well, I, I don't think I've seen you before. What's your name? And he said, my, my name, name is Luca. Luca. I live on the second floor. I live upstairs from you. And since I lived on the ground floor, I, I knew he lived upstairs from me. Everyone lived upstairs from me. So I, that's how I slowly made my way into the angle of the song. Um, and then just one day, I was listening to Lou Reed's Berlin album, and the whole thing came out. Started about 2 o'clock. By 4 o'clock, I had the whole song done. Yes, I think I'm OK. I walked into the door again. If you ask, that's what I'll say. It's not your business anyway. I guess I'd like to be alone. Nothing broken, nothing wrong. Just don't ask me how I am. Just don't ask me how I am. Just don't ask me how I am. There's no rough drafts. This came out pristine. No, my name is, I didn't try any other names. I didn't try any other formats. It's the song. Something late at night, some kind of trouble, some kind of fight. Just don't ask me what it was. Just don't ask me what it was. For a long time, it was sort of a, a song that was private. Uh, I would sing it for audiences, and I noticed that they would become uncomfortable. They didn't like it. When they figured out what it was about, it made them sad. So, um, I thought this song would just disappear. And instead, my manager said, I think that song could be a hit. And I was like, you have to be kidding me. We had a big argument. And he said, I, I think it's an important song. It's a song about abuse. This is the 80s. No one's writing songs about issues anymore. Music changed the world. And I fought with him. And I said, I, I don't think that music changed the world. And, and he really let go. We ended the Vietnam War. You know, how can you tell me that music didn't change anything? So uh, in the end, I said, fine, knock yourself out. You just don't argue anymore. Just don't argue anymore. Just don't argue anymore. 
the little germ of an idea for a song is usually a problem. And, and living here, I see a lot of problems. Um, I spoke to somebody, I don't know, a couple of years ago. And we were talking about the whole issue of Luca and abuse, and this girl turned around and she said, you know, I, I don't know anyone who has not been abused in, in one way or another. So in a sense, most of us are abused in life in some way or another, and we carry those burdens and we deal with them the way we deal with them. You know, so uh, in a sense to be bitter instead of sweet, um, what's the point? What is the point? <laughs>